Welcome to Top Solid 7. Uh, here we're going to show you another sneak peek into Top Solid Cam 7.6. Uh, this is the new version of Top Solid 7 that will be hitting the streets very, very soon. And in this video, what I'd like to show you is what you can do, uh, or the things you can do, excuse me, with an updated stock model. So here you've seen, uh, or you see a part that we've cut, okay? And if I go through this, you'll see some various uh, tool paths. We can go bang through all those, that's really cool. Um, if you want, we can go ahead and run a quick verify just to show you that, uh, you know, we've done a bunch of machining operations on this. So let's just run through that real fast. We'll go ahead and speed this up a little bit. And like that, you know, no big deal. You're seeing that we've machined out this part. Very, very cool. All done. Drillings, 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 and a spot facing. Okay, so now what can you do with the stock model? And just to show you what I'm talking about, um, if I go here and I hide the finish, this is the actual solid model that we've updated in the background when calculating our tool path. So this is an actual true solid model that's updated based on our machining that we've done. And what we'd like to do is maybe use this solid model to create a draft from, or maybe we want to export this solid model, or just do something with it. And that's what I want to show you here today. So let's get started. First, I'm going to bring that back on, and what I'm going to start by doing is going to our Entities Manager. Inside of our Entities Manager, we have a folder called Parts, and the part here is the updated stock model. Very cool, automatically managed for you. What I'm going to first do is I'm going to go to Representations and create a new representation and call it Stock Only. Okay? And then what I'm going to do is take this part and drag and drop it into the stock only representation. That's it. I'm going to hit save once and I'll even close out of there. First thing I'm going to show you is exporting. So maybe what I'll do is I'll go to my cam file, go to import export and say export document with conversion. And maybe we want to do this as a parasolid and we're going to export this as a uh, stock as cut. Okay? And I'm just going to put this in my cam directory right now. I'll say save and here I'm just going to choose the stock only representation and validate. So now we've created that stock model as a parasolid model and just to show you I'll re-import that just for fun. I'll import that file. Here it is. We'll open. We'll validate. And like that there is our updated stock model. Very cool. Now, what else can we do with this? Well, simply put, we can make a draft of this. So let's do that. I'm going to say I want to make a draft of this document. I'm going to use my standard A size drawing. And here it's going to automatically project it, and that is of the finished part that we programmed. But in this case, I don't want to make a drawing file of that. I want to make a drawing file of the stock model. And here, if you notice, the finished part has this pocket here, right? But watch what happens. I'm going to go ahead and edit sets and just change my representation to stock only and validate. Notice the pocket is missing, it's because we never added the pocket machining to our program. But like that, we have a true solid uh, model that we've generated a 2D drawing for, and now we can come in here and we can detail it if we like. We can add some basic dimensions, so we can zoom up on things, and we can start selecting geometry. So now we can zoom up and go ahead and add some dimensions. I mean how cool is this? So this is the as machined part that I'm pulling dimensions, putting notes on, documenting as I see fit. I hope you've enjoyed this sample of what you can do with an updated stock model inside of Top Solid 7. Thanks for watching.